Hello everyone, uh, Anna here. Today I'm going to make a mixture of a video. So first I'm going to talk a little bit about the new Pokemon Mimikyu and then I'm going to talk about a little bit about My Little Pony. So if you don't like stuff like this, uh, click away or else stay. And also warning, this video will contain pictures from Google and other places that is not mine. So please go and give respect to the owners of these pictures and copyrights. So 3, 2, 1, here we go. So the first thing I was going to talk about was this po new Pokemon that got released called Mimikyu, I think it is. And I really feel like it's very cute. Uh, I really hope that it has a uh, evolution for one where it gets love and one maybe where it doesn't get love. Maybe one in sunshine and one in darkness could also be very nice. Uh, I actually found this picture and I was inspired to do this video because I really do feel like uh, the artist that did this picture um, has a idea of, you know, how hard it is as an artist to get recognition and how hard it must be for the Pokemon that is uh, disguising itself as a Pikachu to get love if it's not disguised uh, that good. So yeah, I really do feel like it hits at home and I can really relate to this Pokemon a lot. Um, I will say that I will have one on my team no matter how bad it's uh, dressed up. But uh, let's just hope that uh, everything is going to be okay with the Pokemon and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I do like the design of this new Pokemon, yes. Um, and now for the My Little Pony stuff. Okay, yeah. Just to so you know, we're sure. Uh, Three, two, in. This is the My Little Pony stuff. So if you don't like My Little Pony stuff, stop the video here and click away. Yeah, uh, I was thinking about uh, Pinkie Pie. I know that it's w uh, weird to think about Pinkie Pie now that she's actually not my favorite. She's actually, I feel, almost my least favorite. Uh, but yeah, uh, I was uh, thinking a lot about her today because I was thinking about the different um, or the other side that she has that is called Pingamina. Now, I know that the show is uh, not fond of the, you know, Pingamina stuff and the fan stuff that is on the internet is not something that I like, like the Smile HD and stuff like that. It's uh, horrible and I don't like it. Uh, maybe you will like it. I i don't know, you guys. Just uh, uh, go and watch it on your own risks. Uh, but I was thinking about uh, other personalities like Pinkamina to the other main five or for, you know, Celestia and Luna, Cadence also. I know that Luna has Nightmare Moon, but we need a uh, other version for, you know, Twilight, Applejack uh, and Rarity, Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy and uh, maybe even Starlight. Um, Starlight Glimmer can have a other evil entity or she is the only one that has, you know, experienced the evil side of herself. So she can, you know, help the others when they become the, uh, you know, seven deadly sins or how to say <laughs> say that. I, I really do like the concept of this and I have talked about uh, it in the other videos I have made of My Little Pony or some of them that I really do feel like the new villain is com coming to make the main six the, or main seven now they are with, uh, you know, uh, they are going to make them the seven deadly sins. And maybe, you know, Cadence, Celestia and Luna are the ones that are going to save them this time. Now that could be a very interesting uh, storyline that you know the three 
you know, rulers have to help the main six come back from being, you know, the seven deadly sins or how to say that and uh, come to terms with what they have done and stuff like that. Uh, maybe it's actually Queen Chrysalis that helps uh, them turn or does something that can make them turn. I just feel like there's going to be something where they we see uh, other side of the main six that we haven't seen yet. Uh, very evil sides, uh, maybe not in the lines of Pinkamina, but you know, we have already seen them where Discord had a claw over them, but I really mean a um, state of mind where they still know that they, who they are and what they represent, but they are just switched with their, you know, main objective or how to say that so for example you know um yeah pinkie pie becomes greed because she really loves cake and you know stuff like that and i have done um version of every uh, pony in my divinian art which i'm going to link down below I even made the, uh, you know, uh, Starlight Glimmer, um, a Wrath. Uh, I'm not quite sure this would fit her, but I'm guessing that it's that or it's Pride. Uh, I'm a little bit in doubt if, you know, Twilight is going to be Pride or Wrath, but I actually feel like I have made, um, nice selection of the main six as the seven deadly sins to uh, do that or they're the main seven now so yeah i really do feel like there's coming a story also where we need the memory uh, gems or what to call them in the you know twilight's castle that is hanged on the you know, roots of the tree from the old library. I really do feel like it's going to fall down or going to break open or it's going to be something with uh, one of the ponies opening the memories to remember, you know, all of the good times and stuff like that and what really happened. And uh, yeah, I really do feel like Pinkie Pie is the one that is going to maybe come to terms with, you know, her dark side. She is, um, I think, more aware of the situation than the other six or how to say that. I do feel like uh, Pinkie Pie has the ability to maybe withstand the um, power of being... Uh, seduced by the evil side into being um dev deadly sin but plays along with the villain so she can get to the memory crystals uh, and uh, cure the others or something in the lines of her curing you know starlight glimmer first and then they'll those two can help the others or Pinkie Pie going to Celestia Luna and uh, then they get, you know, Cadence Shining Armor. Maybe they will get, you know, Alicorns from all over Equestria. So we could finally see if there's more, you know, Alicorns than, you know, just Celestia Luna and Twilight and uh, Cadence. And of course they're very hard, but I don't know if she is in the, she is not grown up yet. So I don't know if she can be the one that uh, gets them out of, you know, the seven deadly sins state or how to say that. But that could also be a very nice um, twist or <laughs> how to say that. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, do remember that inspiration is right around the corner. Do remember to take care of yourself and your loved ones. And that was all for today. Yeah, okay, bye.